Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy Red Cloud. Today I'm going to be showing you guys my GTX 1070 Ti's hash rate, my overclock settings, and my suggested algorithm for mining on a 1070 Ti. Let's get into that. All right, guys, we have my 1070 Ti here on the post office rig. I that's not really the official name for it, but it, it could be. Um, so there's a few changes that have been happening to the rig. First and foremost, we've replaced the motherboard, that Z390P motherboard we had in here. I replaced it with a little Dell OEM board. Um, and what's perfect about it, it's, it's actually perfect for a singular card setup. I am going to get an adapter though and get multiple other cards. Um, I've saw another big YouTuber doing this and I had to do it. So I'll make a guide for you guys if you guys want to set up just like this. Super cheap to get into mining now, especially uh, with like other hardware. The graphics cards obviously are still very hard to get, but we've got our 1070 Ti. It is currently at 114 watts at 32.2 mega hashes on ETH hash. We're currently mining Shiba Inu coin actually on unminable and that's the temp inside the room. I actually have the window open, but I closed the blinds just so I could record. So it gets a lot cooler in here during the day. It's like 60, 65 degrees. You probably noticed the 120 millimeter fan here. Yeah, me too. Um, yeah, so my fan port, my CPU fan port on this actual board does not work. I don't know why. And when I plugged it into the system fan, because that's something you can do, dude, it was just so loud. It was unbearable. Um, so what I did was I grabbed another 120 millimeter fan that I had, plugged it in over to the power supply, and just sat it on the actual CPU fan. And my temps are actually perfectly fine. They're around like 28 degrees Celsius. So that's the benefit of having these older boards with older CPUs. They don't use a lot of wattage. Speaking about wattage, we've got the watts here from the wall, about 142 to about 145 watts on the wall. And then, yeah. Pretty efficient rig. I definitely like it a lot. All right, boys, we are live. Let's check it out. GTX 1070 Ti, eight gigs of RAM, 52 degrees Celsius. Fans are at 70%, and we're at 113 watts. Um, we are currently mining on unminable, and we are at 32.09 mega hashes on this. So 32.12, 32.13, 32.12. So we're basically above 32, anywhere above 32, I'm happy with, especially, I mean, if you look at our wattage, we're at 114 watts, 114, 113 on a 1070 Ti. That's like super efficient, in my opinion. We're at 70% fans, so you can barely hear this thing. And it's honestly kind of nice when I sleep to it at night, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, I don't know what this means, but I think this is some type of efficiency number. I think this is too eight four kilo kilo hash per watt yeah that has to be it yeah so basically the lower water you use and the more hash rate you get the higher this number goes so yeah basically this is i think an incredibly efficient um graphics card right now i i've got it mining and i'm using very little wattage uh, and really achieving a high hash rate. So I'm pretty happy with this. I really want to get my hands on more cards so I can mine and overclock these bad boys. Um, I will show you guys my overclock settings in a little bit, uh, but I do want to let you guys know that we are mining uh, Shiba Inu coin on ETH hash. So we've got 32 mega hashes on ETH hash actually mining Shiba Inu coin. So instead of mining Ethereum, Unminable lets you exchange that hash rate for any coin that you want. So yeah, I'll make a tutorial on how to mine Shiba Inu coin if you guys want, and how to use Unminable and the whole setup and all that stuff for Hive OS because that is what I use. So yeah, let's go into Hive OS to check out my overclock settings. Hey, what's up guys? So I'm gonna show you guys my 1070 Ti's overclock settings. I do wanna let you guys know if you do sign up for Hive OS in the description below, I actually get a percentage of the money you spend on fees here, but you also get $10 for free, just like right there. So I signed up with another YouTuber's link and it helped him out. So if you guys would wanna help me out, I'd seriously appreciate it. But anyway, we've got my overclock settings here, my fan set at 70%, core at 160, memory at 13. 1350, 1350, 
and then my power limit at 114. All right, so I've opened this up and I do have my LEDs off. I feel like sometimes it might save on electricity, just even if it's like one little 0.5 of a watt, it might help out in the long run. And then uh, you guys can tell there's a lot more popular presets for the algorithm that I'm running on, which is ETHash. So I have got um, ETH here uh, and we are looking for ETHash on the 1070 Ti at um, eight gigs. So these are the most popular um, overclocks. Cardinality is 194, 130. So these are very, very popular overclocks. And if you guys can't get, you know, the same hash rate as me, it's totally understandable because each card is different. So, you know, please just don't go ahead and like plug these numbers in and just expect, you know, your card to do the same. Uh, it will take some fine tuning, but um, I have found that you know, what I did uh, especially was I pushed my power limit to where I was comfortable with it. And then I basically started uh, bumping up the memory. So that's the thing that I would do if you're uh, new to overclocking. Um, don't mess around too much with the core. You can leave this at like a safe 100, um, especially on these cards, uh, it's totally fine. But if you wanted to go even lower, you can, but I find that 100 uh, to 150 is generally pretty safe with these cards. I've got mine at 160, and then my memory, I've overclocked it to 130, uh, 1350. My power limit's at 114. It used to be 115, um, but I found that like shaving off that one watt, literally it took away a few little mega hashes, but in the long run, the fluctuation between like the wattage was like much much like in the favor of like being closer to 110 so that's where i wanted it all right guys so i showed you guys my hash rate my overclock settings and my setup i would love to let you guys know that i will be continuing to make content like this so if you guys want to hit the subscribe button and you know be notified for other future posts turn on that notification bell but anyway my overall thoughts for the 1070 ti it is a fantastic card for mining. If you have multiple of these cards, they're definitely profitable for sure. I think if you're mining on one singular card, you should probably check out mining on Unminable uh, because you'll probably end up making more money with you know smaller coins rather than like mining just one ETH or like, you know what I mean? Like 0.1 of ETH to get paid out on that. It might take you a few months to actually see some money when it comes to that. Um, and then I think it is definitely not fast enough or cool enough to mine Kapow, uh, which is like Ravencoin and other coins that use those algorithms like the X16R for mining Ravencoin Lite. Uh, I definitely don't think it's cool enough. At least mine is not because it is a single fan. Um, so it definitely uses a lot more power, a lot more heat, and overall it just isn't worth it for mining um, anything but ETHash. It probably is okay for mining like some other speculative coins, but from what I've tested, I think ETHash is definitely the most efficient and definitely the best for a 1070 Ti, at least my card. Um, I'd love to let you guys know that I'm definitely open for your suggestions as far as overclock settings go, or even you know build uh, configuration for however you feel that my rig should be laid out or set up. Definitely feel free to comment that in the section below. I'm definitely open for um, you know suggestions. I do plan on updating the rig frame and then also getting more cards as well as changing the power supply to a server platinum power supply soon. So definitely keep on the lookout for those update videos and also in general tips and tricks from me, especially for you guys who are trying to mine other coins like smaller coins like Shiba Inu and also Dogecoin, XRP, all the, all the shebang. I'm going to be showing you guys how to do that here on this channel. So if you guys want to subscribe, like I said earlier, be sure to do that and turn on notifications. I'd seriously appreciate it. Thank you guys again for watching the video. If you guys liked it at any point, give it a thumbs up. It seriously helps out the channel a lot. I really do appreciate it. Hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Peace out.